Hi everyone! Thanks for clicking on my channel. My name is Joy. I upload random videos of me unboxing horror movie related subscription boxes and sometimes makeup depending on my mood and also FYI these boxes are done like I've stopped subscribing to them because priorities have changed but I still have a bunch of boxes to unbox unboxing boxes so yeah um today we're going to unbox a bam box horror box <laughs> box 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 um so this one was from september 2021 so i still have october november and december boxes to open and then i also have the loot crate one the horror the yeah and then that's it for these boxes i used to subscribe to horror block box which i really really liked but they're yeah they're defunct so let's get started with this one. Oh yeah happy new year happy 2022 hope the first three four days have been kind to you to everyone i know our government announced some more disappointing news so um hope everyone's okay but let's go ahead with this one so BAM Horror, they send this stuff every month and I think they're curated by other horror fans. So yeah. Um, they don't come with shirts like the other subscription boxes do. Which is good and I don't like that there are no shirts but at the same time I already have too much like print shirts anyway so I guess it's kind of good. Let's go ahead with uh, which one should I show you guys first they usually come with these guys like artwork and this is from hold up hold up what I really like about BAM box is that they have stuff that's for movies that I've never seen so for instance this one I don't think I've ever seen this but this guy I don't know if it's the same one but he reminds me of the guy from the um from HP Lovecraft's movie the reanimator I don't know if it's the same guy maybe you guys can tell me but it's this is by Adam MacArthur and um, yeah it's a print it also comes with a certificate of authenticity the thing with these types of items is that I don't know what to do with them do I put them in a binder because I can't I don't particularly want to put them up in a frame and have them on display Unless they're like from a movie that I really love, right? So that's one of the reasons why I stopped subscribing to Bambox because they're heavy on these prints. So this second item is of Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw. Like who can't recognize him? And this one's autographed by him and by the actor. And it has this authenticated um, sticker on there I still I'm still waiting for a figure from this local store and I guess they're still waiting for the products to come in from the um, warehouse that's pretty cool it's one of my favorite movies so this one I would definitely keep but again I'm not sure what to do with these Maybe put them in a binder. I think I feel like that's the best way to keep them. Put them in a binder. Because we do get a lot of these from Bambox. Prints. Um, signed prints. 
and also those um, artworks by other Bambox people. Then, so we got three items. Another type of item that we get from Bambox is these guys. Okay, here we go. This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artist Alley Artists this year's villain series. It's by Jason Miller. And this is okay, I finally recognize something. This is from Psycho. This is um Norman Bates as his mom. I would definitely keep this. So yeah, um, it's uh, it's called a fan art card, and it's one of the usual items we do get from Bambox. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you should subscribe to Bambox. And then, and you also get these, which I'll try now. Bum, 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 bum. I started watching. Um, Buffy a couple of months ago and I really enjoyed the show even though it's for kids and there are some things that I kind of find weird now but maybe people find it weird back then too but um I don't know if I should watch Angel after okay I already lost because the two didn't match um, is Angel good? Because I liked him in Bones, so maybe I will try to watch that. Okay, and then you also get pins. I mean, one person can only have so much pins unless they, sorry, unless they collect them, right? I'm not a pin collector, so. Is this Danny Trejo? So it looks like it's Danny Trejo from a movie I've never watched again. Uh, I want to guess. Oh yeah, no, I'm not going to guess. And then the last item is we'll find out where they're from because they come with uh, a paper that gives you the information. I... I also don't know where this is from. Um, it's pretty heavy. I don't know what to do with this. I think bad box is for serious collectors. I'm not. I'm more of a... I'm just doing it for fun. And I don't have a wall to dedicate all my items to. Unless they're from movies that I really love. Um, I know for other boxes, they give you mugs and stuff like that. Not that I don't have enough mugs. I have so much mugs. But at least those items I can use around the house. But, yeah. Um, like Funko Pops, I collect those depending on the character. And, yeah. Anyway. So let's look at the, that's it for the items. And then let's look at their info sheets. So the BAM celebrity is Bob Elmore. I never knew his name. And he was in Paris, the Caribbean, being John Malkovich. Malkovich? Malkovich? And Texas Chainsaw too. So that's the print, the autograph picture that we have. Ooh. And then, okay, let's see. Collector's pen. Grindhouse? He was a Grindhouse character? That's by Tom Ryan. The artist created this and 
Oh, enjoy this month's awesome grindhouse inspired pen. Grindhouse inspired pen. While most people will receive Trejo as machete, keep an eye on our trading community for the rest of the set. Okay. So is it? Oh yeah, that was I think that was the movie Machete. I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, so I'm curious about where this one came from. Okay. This is a called this is called a prop item. So yeah, so you get an autograph picture every time, a collector's pin, um artwork prop item and a select card every time those are the items that you get from BAM box or um, so this one is beautiful hairpin worn by Akasha from Queen of the Damned I didn't even think that that's so cool uh, speaking of which, rest in peace and rice. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all your work because they did help, I think, a lot of people, not just me, obviously, get through high school. Um, that's how I got into horror movies. Well, I got into horror movies when I watched a horror movie back home in the Philippines, like a long time ago. I watched that yellow yellow movie and I think that's what kind of started me off but it kept going because of Interview with the Vampire and all those Pandora books um, by Anne Rice so yeah uh, we'll miss you Anne Rice we hope to see your um, celebration in Louisiana this year if that's possible because of COVID and everything but another person that I wanted to mention is Betty White obviously so yeah rest in peace women so strong um anyway this one, my face is like this like when I'm sad it's like oh and I look fake but I'm not it's just how my face is like when I'm sad oh now I'm super sad uh, okay anyway so this one for sure now I'm gonna keep because earlier I was like what is this I'll probably get rid of it but for sure I'm gonna keep this one now because Queen of the Damned well the movie was wasn't the greatest I really enjoyed the soundtrack and I really like the movie I don't care I'm not, I'm not super fancy when it comes to movies if I enjoy it I enjoy it but yeah so I took it out of the plastic and then it also has this gem. Now I'm gonna look up the what was it again? The hairpin that that Akasha wore. Alright. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you have a great new year and that <laughs> our government, like I said, like they just announced closures again of restaurants and gems and um other thing oh concerts and all that like i know a lot of people are gonna be bummed out i'm one of them for sure and i'm also thinking about the small businesses that are going to be affected again by this and you know people were hoping for a better year and i mean it's only january so i'm hoping it does still get better it's only January, so yeah. Anyway, enough about that. <laughs> let's keep the hope, let's keep the faith, and just keep going. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.